Okay, we're back. We're going to do 1969 tops. Um, I have a lot of cards to go through here. Um, start out with uh, the great Mickey Mantle. That is his final card. He actually didn't play in 69, but they, uh, his last season was 68. They managed to uh, get a card for him uh, for 69. Um, even though he wasn't an active player. And here's another one. I actually got three of those. Big Mickey Mantle fan. Okay. Now we go to the main set. So here's the League Leader cards, one of my favorite cards of all time. Um, I can't explain why, I've always loved the color, I thought it was a beautiful card. Uh, I, just, I just love that, I love the Braves colors there, um, with the red, the yellow, the white, I just, you got three three great hitters. You got two of the Alou brothers and of course Pete Rose. Got several of those. And we got Stremski. Leading, leading the league in hitting and Tony Oliva of course on there too. Great hitter. National League home run hitters. Three big sluggers. Including Richie Allen, who many believe should be in the Hall of Fame. RBI leaders. Luke McCovey. Santo and Williams, three Hall of Famers on the same leader card. National League ERA leaders. Of course, you know that's the year Gibson had his 1.12 ERA. There you go. Set an all time record among many other records that year. He had 13 shutouts. I believe he had 28 complete games. That's not a record, but that's still a lot. Can you imagine losing nine games in a 1.12 ERA? Anyway, the Cardinals didn't help him out that year in offense. Uh, three Hall of Famers again in the wins column. Strikeout leaders, Gibson leading the way in strikeouts. Okay, now we'll get to the main set. Slugger Ernie Banks. Hall of Fame manager Walt Alston. card with two solid major leaguers, Amos Otis, more than Gentry. Gentry was pretty good early in his career and had arm trouble. He didn't pitch. I don't think he pitched past 25. He pitched, he pitched pretty good in the 69 World Series. I know that. One of my favorite cards from being a kid, being a Cardinal fan, and pulling that card was pretty exciting. I don't know why, but I think it's a beautiful card. I'm a, I'm a sucker for the colors, especially from this year with the yellow and the red, going with the Cardinal uniform. Anyway, I love that card.
there's Maury Wills. Uh, that was the Expo's first year um, during the expansion of 69. Uh, Pittsburgh released him, uh, let him uh, be available to be picked. And um, Expo's being one of the uh, expansion teams took him. So, hence, the, you can tell he, he's got the Pittsburgh uniform on, and they blacked out the hat. Roberto Clemente, still using Bob. Another car that reminds me of my youth. Even though I hated checklists, um, I never really checked them off. A lot of kids did, um, but that really reminds me of opening packs as a kid, um, getting this card. And um, clean checklists these days, especially in the vintage uh, time, clean checklists like this are, uh, are very cool to have, and they... They do have some value. Oh, I did have one where some kid as a, uh, at the time checked them all off. Just think those were checked off in 1969. And I think he had the whole first series, which was 109 cards. Yep, he had the whole series. So, anyway, interesting. Thinking about that. Okay, here's some Pirates rookies. Both had excellent careers. Uh, Al Oliver, he's got some incredible stats. And a lot of people think that uh, he's borderline Hall of Fame. You know, they always got these things. If they want to, they'll keep someone out. Uh, for different reasons, and I think they, I think they use the home run excuse with uh, with Al Oliver. Um. Anyway, he's got a lot of uh, outstanding stats. Richie Hebner was a pretty good ball player too. Um. So uh, that's a pretty cool rookie card. And one of my favorite cards of all time, Lubrock. That's a beautiful card. Looks like Mike Shannon in the background take, taking BP. There's a second year Jerry Kuzman. Of course, he was on the Nolan Ryan rookie card from 68. He's a big factor in the Mets World Series win this year. Second year Johnny Bench. Love that card. As you can see, he's wearing number 55, which would eventually turn into five, of course. He's wearing those old, cool, sleeveless Reds uniforms. People believe he's still the uh, home run king. They don't. Uh, they don't believe uh, single season marks of Bonds, McGuire, and Sosa uh, shouldn't be allowed. And Bonds' overall number of 762 because of all the suspicion of steroid use. Anyway, that was another cool card I always loved as a kid. Checklist with Bob Gibson on the front. I love getting that card. There's 
is another great card. As a Cardinal fan, I love that. Loved getting that. My channel is still a pretty pretty good ball player here. And then I'm getting sick and have a shortened career, but that's a great card. Okay. That was a cool card of Pete Rose. Stremski. Hall of Fame manager Leo DeRocher. It's Denny McLean. The year after his 31 wins. And then he would go on to uh, win, a, win another so young this year also. After his 31 wins, he won 24 this year in 69. He won like 108 games over a five-year span and then blew out his arm. Jumped around to a couple different teams and then never pitched again. He was out of the game by 1973, which would have made him 29 years old when he was out of baseball, I'm pretty sure. That's uh, the World Series subset. Sean Gibson winning his sixth straight game. Uh, striking out 17 Detroit Tigers. And uh, very cool card. A record that won't be broken. Here's game three. Carver hitting a three-run homer in Detroit. Let's see. Uh, Kurt Flood and uh, Roger Maris in that picture. It's a neat picture. There's Brock hitting a uh, mammoth home run. Off Denny McLean in game four in Detroit to start the Cardinals off to a big win and take that take that three to one lead that they blew. I always like this card too as a Cardinal fan. I don't know why, but um, Mel Nelson down in. Uh, Spring training. I don't think he pitched much after the, uh, this. Anyway, I still like the card. There's Willie Mays. Nice card of Willie. And probably my first or second favorite card of all time, Bob Gibson. What a beautiful card. Good grief. That is incredible. Oh boy. Nice. I actually got an, uh, got an enlarged version of that from Tops. They were selling different players from the past and they they blew up their original tops card and sold them on the top site so you can do that you can pick them up not a whole lot of players available but some um, I put that in there because uh, well number one the pilots were a uh, one of the expansion teams um, Pilots, the Royals, um, the Expos, and the Padres uh, were the expansion teams. And um, Larry Haney was picked up by the Pilots. And I put that card in there because it was famous and everybody knew it as a kid. Well, everybody knew that he wasn't left-handed and there weren't left-handed catchers. Um, 
no one knew at the time it was uh, a reverse negative by tops, but they knew that something something was something was wrong, but that was the ultimate story. Tops did a reverse negative of the card. Down Sutton. Wow. Does he look young there? Young and thin. There's a rookie card of Freddie Pontac. Long time player, mostly known for playing with Kansas City. Pretty good shortstop. And he's, re he's really known. Um, at least in my neighborhood, we used to always talk about how short he was. I think he was 5'4". Oh, they show him 5'6". Okay. Maybe he wasn't so short. Anyway. I was short as a kid, so it fascinated me that he was as short as he was and able to play in the major leagues. Okay. There's um, a rookie card of Bobby Cox, of course, who ended up being a Hall of Fame manager with the Braves. The great Frank Robinson. Awesome card. Cool card of Steve Carlton. He ended up having a pretty good year that year. And some good years with the Cardinals before they dealt him to Philadelphia in 72. There's a rookie card of J Reggie Jackson. Probably the premier card of the set when it comes to uh, value. card another one of those cardinal cards that are in there for no reason except for for me um, I just loved it as a kid Ron Willis uh, played a couple years after this a few games here a few games there I believe with Houston and San Diego and um, never pitched again Really like this card of Tony Perez. I remember trying to trade for this card because I didn't have it as a kid. And my friend Tim up the street and his um, and his brother had this card, but I don't think they had doubles. They never traded me. There's a rookie card of reliever Sparky Lyle. A clean checklist, Don Drysdale on it. This was Don's last year as a player, 69 was. Mazarowski. Hall of Famer, Phil Necro. Marichal. I'm not crazy about that pose, but it's a good Hall of Fame card. Herman Killebrew. Killer, is that what they called him? Incredible slugger. Cepeda with no hat. Of course, this was the year after St. Louis traded him to Atlanta for um, Joe Torre. And um, both ended up doing quite well after the trade. Cepeda had a couple of really outstanding power years. Of course, Torre ended up being a star with the Cardinals, winning the MVP in 71. John Drysdale. 
last card ever for him. I mean, there's been re-releases in recent years, I'm sure, with his image on there, but as a player, that's his last, that's his last card. Okay, line. And there's a car uh, checklist with Mickey Mantle on the front. Of course, some kids scribbled all over it. I kept it. I didn't care. He scribbled all over the back, too. He didn't have the whole series. All-Star card of Willie McCovey. Look at the miscut at the top. I don't know what that was, some kind of serial code or something. You'd think it would have been the, another card, the start of another card um, on a sheet, but it's not. And great Rod Carew. You know what? That is not Rod Carew in that black and white photo on the left. That totally looks like Lou Brock. That's interesting. That looks like the Brock picture from the home run pose. After he hit that home run off Denny McLean. Hang on, I'm going to leave that up there for two seconds. It is. Look at this. Look at the swing, look at the ball, look at the, uh, the background. You can, see the, you can see the padded background on both of them. You can see the umpire's hand here and here. That is Lou Brock. Oh my God. That is something. I know that's not Carew. That's gotta be, I can't believe they used that image for Carew. Oh, oh jeez. all these years noticing it now that was just random guys I don't take I don't take notes into these things the information I give just comes off the top of my head I hope that I'm right maybe sometimes I'm not so anyway there's an all-star card of Brooks Robinson all-time hit King Pete Rose Stromsky. Perennial Gold Glover, Kurt Flood. That was his last year in a, uh, as a player. In, no, it wasn't. With the Cardinals, it was. That was his last year with the Cardinals. Blue Brock All Star. All Star Bob Gibson All Star. Now that's definitely him in the black and white picture. Pitch in there. Danny McLean. I have my serious doubts that that's him in the black and white photo. In fact, I would bet that is not him. Why Tops would do that, I don't get it. Nice card of Willie McCovey. Yankee manager Ralph Houck.
Hall of Famer Billy Williams. I had that card as a kid. And here's an interesting card. Um, I put it in there because this is a variation and apparently has some value to it. Uh, Mike Epstein played in the league until the mid-70s. Um, he was a big guy, slugger. Did, did okay. Had some had a couple really good years and um, tried to get some help from Ted Williams. I think there's a card later that you'll see that he was taking some instruction from him. But um, the variation of this card is that the letters in Epstein are white. So, um, that's the variation. So anyway, I didn't, I realized I had it very recently. So, anyway, I just want to show it at Cardinal Manager Red Shandies. Tommy John. Check out that picture. He's following through like he's throwing the ball and the ball's in his glove. I'm sure he did that for comedy. Tim McCarver's last card is a Cardinal. Very much reminds me of being a kid. I had that card and I loved it. I used to imitate his batting stance along with all the other Cardinals. Pitcher Tom Seaver. Jim Gosger. Uh, why I put that in there is the Pilots were an expansion team and in the early series they didn't have any cards of them in the um, Pilots uniforms. So they were all like hatless cards but since this is a higher numbered card they took pictures tops did obviously with seattle playing and released cards later in the year with them in pilot uniforms see that's number 482 so that's like the fifth series so uh tops was able to get pictures and release cards of players in pilot uniforms later in the year. So this is still their first year and only year. Never played again. One time, one year with the Seattle Pilots. There's Gaylord Perry, king of the spitball. Love that card of Julian Javier. One of my favorites as a kid. Loved it. I love the colors. Checklists. Brooks Robinson. Rod Carew base card. Hall of Fame manager Earl Weaver. That apparently is his rookie card. He never had a card. Actually, that's his, um, I believe 69 was his first year to manage. I'm pretty sure it was. And here's a card with all the great pitchers from Baltimore. Tom Fevis, Jim Harden, Dave McNally, Mike Cuellar. Second year car of Nolan Ryan. Very cool to have. Here's the card I was telling you about with Mike Epstein. <clears throat> Ted Williams. Give it some bad instruction to him. Anyway. It's cool because Ted Williams is on it. 
Here's Kurt Flood's last base card as a Cardinal. Willie Stargell. Don't like the pose, but it's all right. Billy Martin when he was Twins manager. Brooks Robinson. The card with the A stars on it. Captain Sal Bando, Campy, Danny Cater. Miracle Mets manager, Gil Hodges. Ron Santo. Card I remember vividly as a kid. McCovey and Marshall. Hall of Fame pitcher Jim Palmer. Of course, longtime announcer as well on ABC. Did a lot of games, I believe, for him. I remember with maybe Don Drysdale and Howard Cosell, too. There's a rookie card of Raleigh Fingers. There's a rookie card of Bobby Bonds, Barry's father. Great major league player for a long time. First man to accomplish the 30 30. 30 home runs, 30 stolen bases. Ferguson Jenkins, Ted Williams, manager of the Senators. I'm showing this card because <clears throat> that is, pardon me, that is not Aurelio Rodriguez. That's actually the bat boy posing for him. There's a Ray Fossey rookie card. Tony Canigliaro. Slugger that got beaned and shortened his career. And apparently his um, what stopped his career was fear, not the vision part from getting beaned in the eye. So that's kind of the story. He wasn't a, uh, he, he just couldn't do what a big leaguer needed to do to hang in there and not, you know, I guess he was afraid. Pretty sad. Uh, Lou Pinello on a 69 Pilots rookie card. I don't know that he ever played for the Pilots. If he did, it was extremely brief. There's Joe Torre in a hatless card. Um, <clears throat> like I said earlier, it was for the Cepeda trade. Landed to St. Louis. A Bob Robertson rookie card with Bruce Canton. Both were... Pretty good ball players in their time. There's a Manny Sanguin, second year card. I remember that card as a kid. I always thought that catcher's mitt looked really big. They used to let catchers use bigger mitts when they were catching knuckleballers. I remember I remember really them allowing them to do that. I thought it was weird. But maybe it's just the angle of the picture or the fact that it's really close up. Greg Nettles rookie card. Of course, he was famous for playing on the world champion Yankee teams in the late 70s and making miraculous 
defensive plays, also a good slugger. And there's the um, team card of the world champion, Amazing Mets, Miracle Mets. Uh, MVP of the World Series was Don Clendenin. Many heroes on that, including Swoboda, Al Weiss, several others. Anyway, that's the 1969 Tops. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, click the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel. And uh, make a comment. Let me know if you want to see something. i got plenty of videos out there to look at. If there's something you want to see, let me know. Thanks for watching.